today I'm doing a little tune-up on uh, 04 Honda Pilot. I'm going to be doing an oil change, spark plugs, and an air filter. I'm going to start with the oil change. I have my oil and my filter. After getting the car on some ramps, I like to remove the oil cap, help it breathe. And then I will go ahead and put my catch pan. All right, here's your drain plug. That is apparently leaking oil. Awesome. I'll be putting my catch pan right about here. And then I'll be loosening that and draining the oil out. And then once that's all out, I will be removing the oil filter which is right behind the passenger side tire right here and when I go to remove this I'll have the drain plug back in and I will put my catch bucket underneath the oil filter so I catch all the oil that will come out of there all right, with the uh, old oil filter out, I always buy Fram Extra Guard. It's just what I always do. I like to make sure I have the right numbers, pH 7317. And then you always want to make sure you have this O-ring on here. Otherwise, if it's stuck on the vehicle and you try to put that on, you'll leak a lot of oil. I've, I learned that from experience. And then, on the new O-ring, you want to take a bit of the old oil and just coat the new O-ring. And then, I have the drain plug back in. Move my bucket out of the way. And hot synthetic blend oil pretty much shoots out, so I missed my bucket, bucket some. And then, before you put that on, you want to wipe all the oil and grime away from where your oil filter goes right up in here I want to get that nice and clean and then it has little arrows on it right there to help you know which way to go in case you're horrible with directions like that and then with oil filters, I just hand tighten them and call it good. And then put the drain plug and oil filter back in. You're able to add the oil, which you'll add it right here. And it calls for 5.7 ounce quarts. Five in there, and then another one. High mileage, because this definitely has high mileage. And then once you're done with that, put the cap back on, and then I'll start on the air filter. To remove the air filter box, you want to move this cable up out of your way. Oh, doesn't want to move. Stupid throttle cable. And then there's four eight millimeter screws or Phillips head, depend on if it's stripped or not. And mine are stripped, so I gotta use the eight millimeter. And then you just 
twist them off. And then you can pull the box up. And there's your air filter. This one doesn't actually look bad, but I have a new one and I'm gonna replace it. So you'll want to pop it back onto the tube. And then tighten all the screws back down. And from this rain, I probably won't get to the spark plugs today. All right. It's back on the tube. So you just tighten them down and you're done. All right, well, there's a break in the rain, so I'm gonna try to get the spark plugs. You need to, well, you don't necessarily need to, but it helps if you remove this top plastic engine cover, which is just four 10 millimeter screws. Let's put on the shoulder. And then you want to get to your coil packs, those pieces right there, and they are an Allen key, which is stupid, but yeah, they're an Allen key, and I think the plugs for the coil pack are underneath this cover. So, I'll have to get something to pop this plug out and take these out. But the back ones, kind of going at them blind, but they're right here, here, and here. I'm pretty sure there's a number six Allen key to remove those. Take them out and then pull the coil pack off. Alright, with the old spark plug out, you can see that it's all brown and burnt and all nasty like. So I have a new one. And I'm going to put some anti seize on the threads and then thread it back in to there. I do one at a time so I don't get coil packs or anything mixed up but these are supposed to be gapped at 0 .044 so you want to go along and do it with all six of them all right the rain picked back up so I'll be fast after all after you get all six spark plugs changed you pretty much just screw this back on along with the other cover and you're done with the oil change, spark plugs, and air filter. Alright, thank you and have a good day.